a thread by Carlos Osuita. Finally, people are catching on. President Trump is going to mop the earth with Biden. Trump will be declared the winner on election night. Spectator.org, why is the media madness intensifying? And it's not just the press, it's all of Trump's enemies in every single field, every day, in every way. Democrats do and say things that make it impossible for sane people to vote for Biden. I didn't see this when it came out. Make sure not to let it get to you. It's very important to see what Biden has in store for us. Link in the thread, mob attacks St. Louis statue, but brave Catholics defend it. These people are all trained to do this. That's why it's so important to never, ever, ever engage them. If you want to go out and protect a statue or monument, here are the basic rules. Wear earplugs. Stand with your backs against the structure you're protecting. Pray or sing in unison. Do not engage under any circumstances. Sure. It's infuriating. This guy has the ultimate Backpfiffengesicht, German for a face badly in need of a fist in it. But that's why they chose him. The goal is to get the hyperpartisan press to write that a poor black man was attacked by white supremacists. This is an interim period. We had a civil war for God's sake. If you can't ride this out, how can you call yourself an American? People are insisting that we must play right into the hands of leftist agitators. Well, you can if you want. I can see exactly what they're doing, so I'm not fooled. And even at this late date, they still don't trust Trump. Endless bitching, ungrateful bastards, spineless, gutless, weak sisters, little kids in the car. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Just as brainwashed as leftists. To win, Trump must be unorthodox. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby, you can be the director of the opponent's fate. Sun Tzu, the art of war. Prohibit the taking of omens and do away with superstitious doubts. Then, until death itself comes, no calamity need be feared. Sun Tzu, the art of war. If the country chooses Biden, you can't stop it from happening, so put it out of your mind. But it's not going to happen. This is 2016 all over again. The polling hasn't been adjusted because it can't be adjusted. One, People change their minds at the last second. Two, most Trump supporters refuse to be polled. Three, first-time voters can't be polled. Pollsters can't gauge Trump's level of support, period. The history of the 2016 election has been rewritten. Hillary was not hated. She won the popular vote. She was not a terrible campaigner. She was par for the course. Watch the legendary Young Turks election night meltdown. They started out by saying the election was just a formality, and by the end, they were saying that she was the worst candidate who'd ever run. To this day, Trump's enemies refuse to admit that she didn't lose. Trump won. Trump earned his victory. This is why I'm sick to death of hearing his alleged supporters still expressing doubt. Deep down, you think he's incompetent. No match for Nancy Pelosi. You'll never be convinced. And that is a terrible deficit. It means you refuse to take in new information. You're cognitively rigid. Biden is a far worse candidate than Hillary. He's senile. His platform is political suicide. And his supporters are rabid zombie brown shirts. Why doesn't that register? The press is now totally insane. The Democrats are now totally insane. Biden keeps telling people to not vote for him. And look at this. Gallup poll 
majority of Americans believe Trump will win November election. A solid majority of Americans now think they're better off now than they were four years ago. Only 32% said they're worse off. That means that Trump will get at least 68% of the vote. Gallup also says this, quote, the prediction of a Trump victory is not consistent with the average of recent national presidential vote preference polls, which show Biden with a significant lead. It is consistent with Americans' expectation of a victory for the incumbent president in every race in which one has been running. In other words, the polls showing both Biden leading and the preferred candidate are fake. In my city, there are help wanted and now hiring signs everywhere. In the midst of California's deranged lockdown, Trump wins in a landslide on election night. Do not write to me. I hope you're right. And I'm worried about the Democrats stealing the election. The unspoken part of I hope you're right is, but you're wrong, defeatism. Take it somewhere else. No defeatism allowed. And it's logistically impossible to steal a national election, especially when it won't be close. Trump has left nothing up to chance. The Democrats are tapped out. Time to not express your defeatism to me. It's time to dance. I will be the greatest president that God ever created.